This is a neat and educational fall project you can do as a family. Hey guys, we are going to make a couple of spore prints from these wine cap mushrooms. These are more on the mature side and they are already starting to release their spores so they're not going to taste that good. So we're going to go ahead and harvest them and make some spore prints. The spores are already starting to disperse. You can see it on this one as well. Carefully remove the cap. The first pore print we're going to make is on this black and white papers that we taped together. This is a good way to do it, especially if you don't know the color of the spores. The color of the spores is one of the ways that can be used to identify mushrooms, but I suggest that you do more research and get in contact with a professional in your area. So we're going to put that in the middle. So let's try to move it so half of it will go on the white paper and half will go on the black. We do know that wine cap mushrooms have a dark brownish purplish spores, almost black. Then we're going to cover the mushrooms to keep it humid in there so the mushroom doesn't dry out. And this will also reduce air current so that way the spores don't fly all over the place. The gills of wine cap mushrooms are usually white, but as they mature, they release the spores, which stains the gills. Here they are in natural light. I think they turned out great. And these would be fun to frame. This other one got smeared. I think there was too much moisture in there, but that's okay. This is a neat and educational fall project you can do as a family. Thanks for watching, and I hope that you found this video helpful. I'm going to apply a couple of coats of hairspray to seal and preserve the spore prints. I'm holding the hairspray about 8 to 10 inches away.